All Aquino's release has been confirmed in the first phase of version 4.6 along with Liney. So, in this video, we will cover all the materials you will need to farm for All Aquino and her signature weapon, as well as her best artifact sets and weapons. All Aquino is a 5-star pyro polearm character, so she requires the following amount of Agnetus Agate Gems. Next, you need 168 pieces of Rainbow Roses, which can be found in the Barrel region. You also need 46 pieces of Golden Melody from the upcoming World Boss Legatus Golem. For common materials, collect the following amounts of Fatui Mob Drops. Al Aquino uses the Order Series Talent Books, which can be obtained from the Pale Forgotten Glory Domain, on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. For Talents Level 7 onwards, you need to collect 18 pieces of New Drops from her Weekly Boss Mode, available from version 4.6. And while you are busy farming all these materials, don't forget you also need 7.1 million Mora and 419 Heroes Wits. Her signature weapon is a pole arm called Crimson Moon Semblance, which in Arlequino's hands turns into a scythe. You need two types of monster materials for her weapon's ascension. First is, gear drops from Clockwork Mecha. And the second, hilt drops from Praetorian Golems. However, hilt drops will be available from version 4.6 onwards. Lastly, you will need the following amounts of Goblet of the Pristine Sea, from the domain, Echoes of the Deep Tides on Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Generally, all 5-star weapons need 1.2 million Mora and 907 Mystic Ores for Ascension. Al Aquino is an on-field DPS who scales on attack, and her damage increases based on the new mechanic called Bond of Life. So, the best artifact set for Arlequino is 4-piece Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy, releasing in version 4.6. While farming for it, you can also use 4-piece Crimson Witch, or the Marichal Sea Hunter, or the Gladiator's Finale. Arlequino's best in-slot weapon is the Crimson Moon Semblance, followed by Primordial Jade Winged Spear, Calamity Queller, Staff of Scarlet Sands and Staff of Homa. Deathmatch and Ballad of the Fjords are her best 4-star options. While the best choice for F2P players will be the Black Cliff Polearm. You can also use the Dragon's Bane for vaporized teams. And if you don't have any of the above mentioned weapons, White Tassel is also a great option. That wraps up our Arlequino's farming guide. How many Primo gems have you saved for Arlequino? Let me know in the comments below. All the best for your Arlequino polls.